Roots to toss on at the office, you guys really struggled to make anything happen. Yep. Really. What's, what's what went wrong? Oh, look, simple. We just we got beaten by a better team tonight. A team that was hungrier, a team that uh, won second balls, who were desperate uh, with and without the ball. Their intensity, their tenacity, they were better than us tonight. Simple as that. So why do you think that happened tonight? You guys have shown those things at you know, yeah. various stages of the last month. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we worked at training, we spoke to them, we played them in pre-season, they did the same thing to us in the second half. You know, we were negative in our first action. You know, we go back to the goalkeeper, allows them to press. And from then, we, we just allowed them to, to be in the front foot. And, uh, you know, I'll take full responsibility at half time. I changed the, the system. Adama got an early low card and they looked like they were attacking that left hand side quite a bit. And I, I can see he was a little bit anxious. You know, didn't want to get too tight and, and get himself sent off. And they, you know, got their full backs forward and the front four and, you know, we, we knew that, you know, we tried to press, there were some pressing cues out there, but like I said, we were just a little bit off today. You know, I've got to look at, look at the week and it's, it was a good week. <laughs> you know, they were fresh, we freshened them up and um, there were no excuses for, for that performance. I feel for our fans and our members who, who turned up today and, and, and saw that, they don't deserve that. Garang obviously changed the game for them again off the bench. I mean, when he's not named to start, never has been, obviously, in the A-League, but when you know a player like him is going to yeah. come off the bench yeah, we plan second for it. half... We plan for it. How do you plan for it? Well, we, we just we just, we know that they, they score most of their goals, I think seven out of eight goals, between the 60th and the 75th minute. We knew that, right? And that's normally when those changes occur, whether it's uh, Qual or, or somebody else comes on. But, you know, they, the call came out, you know, when, when that happened. Um, so we're all understanding of our roles and responsibilities, but you've got to execute. You have to execute, you know, so... Like I said, I've got to give them full credit. They, they came out and they were, they were much better than us tonight. Roods, I know you won't blame for the loss, but in the context of how the game was going at the time, how big a call is it to only give a yellow card for that elbow? Yeah, look, I don't want to give, I don't want to talk about that. It's, it's, it's difficult, you know, I, I was pretty vocal at the time when, it, when I saw it and when it happened and, you know, we've both played the game, you know, both coaches and... You know, those decisions sometimes go with you, sometimes they go against you. And, you know, and it, it is what it is. Nobby, you've kept the team very similar so far this season. Will mm. tonight's result, will that change for next week? Will you make it <laughs> it's too, it's too early. It's too early right now. Look, we're, you know, we, we've got, you know, our bench, you're a lot, you're a lot of young kids, you know, and, um, and we've got a few injuries that are coming back shortly. So, you know, um, Cassini, you know, was a was a loss. You saw that tonight. You know, he's he's, he's very good for us um, with him without the ball. You know, and, and you know, maybe that disrupted the balance of the team and, and things like that. But you know, Rummy's been working hard, and it's a it's a different type of player though to to, to Cassini. Um, in terms of next week, I, I need to go through my own process first and reflect on tonight and have a look at exactly what went wrong. But like I said, uh, you know, I, I changed the system at half time and. It didn't work, and, and that's on me. So I'll take that. I'll take the full responsibility for tonight. Ruth, I know you probably don't want to talk too much about opposition players, and I don't really want to ask you too much about opposition players, but, I mean, Grant Qual, have you seen many players like him come through Australia in the last however many years? He, every time he comes on, at whatever level, he seems to do something. Yeah, look, right right now, he, he's very he's very early in his development. I mean, his older brother was someone that I worked closely with um, at my old club, and and so I know what he could do. Um, yeah, it's, it's good for Australian football. These young players coming through, it, it's fantastic to see. You know, he not too dissimilar to a lot of the young players who who create a big impact. If you know, they've got to be able to do it for ninety minutes, and that's that's something they need to they need to to work really hard at their own game. But he, he's a special talent, and you love these young kids coming through who can who can do what they're, what they're doing. And um, yeah. Like I said, that's probably all I can say. I mean, Monty probably knows more than what I do about about um, uh, Qual. So, yeah, but it was you know, not too not too nice for us uh, when he came on. But I wish the kid all the best. He's got a bright future if he continues to work the way he does. Um, and Ninko, yeah, is he all right? Yeah, he, he got that kick, and you know, and um, yeah, I kind of that was another decision where I thought you know, he's pretty badly bruised at half time we saw it you know so there was clear contact there and it was play on so 
you know, again, they, sometimes they they go with you, sometimes they don't go with you, you know. But um, he, he carried on, he, he kept fighting away, and um, yeah, he was pretty buggered towards the end there, and just need to look after him as well. Big week ahead for him in the club, I guess, playing his old, old side for the first time. Yeah, yeah, look, it's um, again, next week is next week, you know, we'll. we'll We'll have a look at that. He's pretty disappointed, like what most of the players are, um, and, and rightly so. You know, uh, we got beaten by a better team. Like I said, that, that, that that's what it is, and we need to regroup, and and we will, um, and we'll be ready for for next week. The beauty the beauty of next week is that you don't really have to motivate them. They all know it's what it's about.